Hi guys, in this video I want to delve into the technical issues related to the first open world map for my game, Project Destiny. This map is very large, to be created by a single developer, more or less a square kilometer. It is also developed vertically, from deep canyons to high mountains. It is composed of rivers, meadows, rocky woods, woods and more. Let's start with the lightning. Thanks to the Unreal Engine 5 Lumen system, I can change the lightning in real time by rotating the sun. With the change of the skybox and the rotation of the sun, I can give a different look to every single scene in the map. This shot is made up of many models made with another new technology present in Unreal. The night. As you can see, every single highlighted model is made up of millions of polygons maintaining a very high detail. Under all these models we find the landscape, a surface that represents the terrain. To vary the various terrain surfaces, such as earth, grass, tall grass, water, etc., I use this tool, where I can color different textures to differentiate the terrain. The colors of the landscape also determine the shade of the grass, as you can see in this case. I can paint green, for example, and on the painted texture it generates many blades of grass. Now, with a slightly darker green, I can match certain patterns of grass for each texture I'm going to paint, as you can see here. Or, to make certain scene more interesting, I can take a color and through opacity, I can mix two types of textures in the same point. This creates environments that are very unique. In this case, I wanted to try coloring everything with a bluer shade to give a different look to the scene. Another example is this yellowish-green texture that generates some very tall grass. I made sure that this specific color decreases the character's speed, adding depth to the gameplay. I also made sure that when going uphill the character decreases in speed or increases based on the steepness of the terrain. Under the rivers there are this texture, which also outlines a decrease in speed for the character, as you can see at this point. The rivers on the map are made up of splines that can be changed in position, as in this case, raising it gave a completely different and almost wampy effect. This instead is a lake. Various technical specifications can be changed in transparency or colors. I'll go into detail in the next video, with a deep dive into the creation of rivers and lakes, with the implementation of this plugin into my projects. Now I want to introduce you to some obstacles in the map. They are roots that take life away, if there is a collision with the player. They resemble snakes on how they move. I can increase the movement, but not too much, because otherwise they become too distorted.
I choose a red color to give them the feeling of danger. Entering it's not the best choice. In this forest I wanted to show you this rays of sunlight that filter through the trees and which gave a very particular, almost fairy-like and mystical effect. Excellent for certain types of environments. Each tree is editable in shapes and color. In this case I tried to put different leaves which resemble flowers. Same things for bushes. You can see that the bush is made of polygons. Each face has an image that I can modify in its size to create this effect. The stones and all the solid shapes on the map are composed of texture generated in Blender. This is to recreate an effect inspired by watercolor. There are various stones with certain different textures. Here we can see a rock composition that might seem simple. On the contrary, I found it very difficult to create convincing compositions made of rocks. In this case I can change the texture to give a completely different look. Now let's talk about the foliage on the map. They are present in almost every corner of the world, as you can see here. Now let's see a small implementation. With this tool it is possible to fill the desired spaces with various types of foliage. As in this case, a little more bushes placed in the right places gave a more interesting and convincing look. Now I'll show you all the assets I used to achieve this result. Here you can find the grass that I use in my project, the foliage composed of flowers and uh, various vegetation, and the water, like rivers and lakes. Thanks for following this video. These were the main techniques related to the first map. I hope it can be of help and inspiration for your projects. Now I leave you with a small overview of various shots present in the first map. Thanks for following me. Until next time, bye!